Hi friends, my name is Meredith and today I am going to read you the book, The Scarecrow. Now this book doesn't look like this always. This book, we love this so much in my house that we lost the dust jacket. So this is what it looks like underneath the dust jacket. It looks like this, like some old clothes mended with patches. And that's maybe something that a scarecrow might wear in real life. And this book is written by Beth Ferry and illustrated by the Fan Brothers. And it is one of our favorites here. And where I live, we see a lot of scarecrows because some farms near us still use scarecrows on their farm. And in the fall, a lot of people put up scarecrows as decorations. But scarecrows aren't really scary for people. They are, they are used to keep birds and small animals away from farms so that they don't eat all of the food on the farm. So they're scary to, um, to small animals and to birds, usually. And the word scarecrow, so this is what a scarecrow might look like. And the word scarecrow is an interesting word because it is a compound word which means it's two separate words put together. Scare is a word, crow is a word. They're separate words. You can use them in separate individual ways, but when you put them together, scare, crow, you have a word, the scarecrow, and that is the title of this book. Now let's see what happens to this scarecrow. Autumn sunshine, haystacks rolled, scarecrow guards the fields of gold. No one enters, no one dares. Scarecrow stands alone and scares the fox and deer, the mice and crows. It's all he does, it's all he knows. He never rests, he never bends. He's never had a single friend. For all the woodland creatures know not to mess with old Scarecrow. Winter whispers, velvet snow, Scarecrow has no place to go. He dreams of what the spring will bring, of buds and blooms and things that sing. Then something drops from midair, a small scared crow lying there. Broken nest, broken wing. Scarecrow does the strangest thing. He snaps his pole, bends down low, saves the tiny baby crow. He tucks him near his heart of hay. He lets him sleep. He lets him stay. He doesn't stop to wonder why. He sings the sweetest lullaby. Safe and warm, the nestling mends. These two make the oddest friends, but friends they are right from the start. The crow will grow in Scarecrow's heart and he will peek out at the farm and he will perch on Scarecrow's arm and they will laugh and wish on stars, forgetting who they really are. For crows are birds and birds must fly. The fledgling spreads his wings to try he dips, then soars and caws out loud. Scarecrow cheers, pleased and proud. But as he watches, Scarecrow knows that he must stay and Crow must go. Summer Sunshine. Autumn chill.
snowflakes make it colder still. No one visits, no one cares. Scarecrow sags alone and stares. So Crow had to fly off. Broken heart, broken pole, nothing fills the empty hole. So Scarecrow is feeling sad because he finally made a friend. He made a friend with the crow, but the crow had to fly off. But then something drops from midair. A large black crow standing there. Scarecrow's arms are open wide. Crow spreads his wings and swoops inside. Joyful hearts, brimming whole. A friend will mend a broken pole. And he will spruce up matted hay. And he will say, I'm here to stay. Winter's over, springtime's due. Is there room enough for two? Flowers blooming, fields of green. Five small eggs are tucked, unseen. Scarecrow guards them, for he knows that soon they will be baby crows. and he will love them from the start and they will grow up in his heart. And so now how does, how does the scarecrow feel? Does it seem like maybe the scarecrow is happier now that the crow family has, his crow friend has come back and started a family that they can all be together and they will peep and perch and play and make him happy every day. And as the seasons come and go, they will love their dear Scarecrow. And now all the animals seem to know this is a friendly Scarecrow. They can come and play nearby. And I think that's making the scarecrow happy too. And if you notice, if you look close at the scarecrow's pants, you can see the patches, orange and green, just like on the book, orange and green. So it's the scarecrow's pants. But I love that story, even though it does feel a little bit sad in the middle when the scarecrow is feeling sad that the crow has to go and fly, but it's a good reminder that even though our friends aren't always nearby us, they're still always our friends. They're still always there in our hearts and in our minds, and we can be far apart and still be friends. We might not see them for a while, but we can still be friends. So I love that story. That book is The Scarecrow by Beth Ferry, illustrated by the Fan Brothers. And thanks for being with me today, and I can't wait for next time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Story Adventures with Meredith. Bye for now.